to Friday's bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to be attempting to crack the cryptic crossword that appeared in the Times this morning. Um, this is uh, this has got a whopping high snitch rating, which means it ought to be very, very difficult. Uh, in fact, let's look at the stats quickly. Uh, Verlaine, that's a real solver. Um, and uh, that's Matthew Marcus. That's a very good time because the snitch on this is high. I think Aphis99 is Andy Fisher, a very good solver, been in the final of the Times Championship a few times, and 12 minutes. Um, Tom Stubbs a really good solver, 13 minutes. So yeah, you can see there's very few quick times early. Um, so we're in for a challenge, which is great. Let me, um, let, me click, let me click it and let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go. Um, one venomous corner not half welcomed by the cop <laughs> well as a liverpool fan uh, this this i must you know and this is very good um a very good aphorism if you like do not read the surface reading of the clue in any way literally this will not be about liverpool um welcomed by the cop although of course for me it's very hard um to get that out of my head let's try this one market is very British. There are all sorts of short words for market. Agora uh, comes up occasionally. Very British. Mm, don't know. Legendary footballers having brief time with our team. Legendary footballers. Um, I'm thinking with our team is going to be us. So I'm expecting this to end in us. Legendary footballers. I have no idea what that's getting at. And again, it's making me think about football, which it probably oughtn't to do. Um, oh, look, there's one I've just spotted I can do. Follow story as told. If you see words like as told, as we hear, um, we catch. It's referring to hearing. It's 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 implying that something you hear uh, is important. And if we think of the word tale, t a l e, that's clearly a word for a story. But that is a homophone for the word tale, t a i l. And if you tail somebody, t a i l, you follow them. So the word. So we need a word for a story here, t a l e. We hear that word. And we, we can spell it differently and we get the answer, which is follow. Um, well, not follow, it's tail. Uh, now we get a useless looking A in two down. Most half-hearted. Oh, hang on, my phone is ringing. That's a surprise. Let me just, um, uh, hang on, I'll have to just turn that off. Sorry. Um, I don't, in fact, know how to turn my phone off. <laughs> um, how do I make it so that a phone call just goes away? I don't even know that. Um, most half-hearted moving around, but he keeps rolling. Um, he keeps rolling. Most half-hearted. Stress of old pants, etc. being a bit short. Oh, okay. There are some old words for stresses in sort of poetry and things and i imagine this is going to be some very obscure you see i'm thinking of diphthong oh i was thinking thong as thongs are they pants really I don't know. I don't think so. Nine down. Hitch as part of sail lands on shorebird. No. Okay. So we're, we're bouncing around here. I'm just trying to find something. Let's try that one. Eleven four. Comment on letters for military checkpoint. Something post, I would think. Uh, so we need an 11 letter word for a comment. Um, 
and I don't know it, or at least it's not coming into my brain. Let's try this one again. Zero interest each year. Each year could be per annum or PA. Closing course. Zero interest feels like apathy, doesn't it? Why is that apathy? If you've got zero interest, you you have apathy. Each year, closing. Oh, hang on, no, that, well, each, I think this might be right. I think each can be A, as in um, a pop, for example, would mean each. Um, so if each was A, Y can be year, and that closes, it surrounds a word for a course, which could be a path, then apathy might be right. Um, yeah, each and A are certainly synonymous. Each year, A year. Yeah, I think, I think that's fine. Articles about poet initially bewildered. Well... Bewildered, I wanted it to be at sea, but I bet it isn't. And the way I read the clue, I, I want some articles, which might be things like a or an or the. And then I need to put those articles around a poet initially or poet initially. Now, poet initially would normally be the letter P, the initial letter of the word poet. But there are some poets like E. e. Cummings who are known by their initials. Um, T.S. Eliot. Well, actually, it is T.S. Eliot. Good grief. That's very difficult. OK, so a poet initially is T.S. Eliot, Thomas Stearns Eliot, T.S.E. And that has articles. The indefinite article is A. It has, those, it has two A's around it or about it. And a bewildered is at C. So we certainly, I mean, I could, I could guess it was bewildered. Oh, hang on. This is the... Um, uh, Okay, sorry, that's fine. It's not. It's about my broken car. Um, <laughs> great changes in view left to those, e.g., in the circles. Those, e.g., in the circle. Uh, that, that makes me think of a theatre audience. But the, so, so does the whole surface reading of the clue. So, great changes. So I want it to be stage something. Oh yeah, stage is really good because that's got that's got an anagram of great in it. If I put the R there, hasn't it? Stage stage right sight. Yes, <laughs> I can't believe I've actually solved that clue. But great has been anagrammed. It's changed in a word for view, which is sight, and left to those, e.g., in the circle. If you were sitting in the circle, then um, the left-hand side would be stage right from the perspective of the actors on the stage. Isn't that clever? So, yeah, so I completely misread. I, I, I spotted it was something to do with the theatre, but I didn't realise it was left to those, e.g. in the circle. That was the, the definition. So if this ends in us, a brief time. Unless, oh, legendary. Unless it's, unless it's football as being the F.A., and then a brief word for a time. So it means legendary. Famous. Mo. A moment is a brief time, isn't it? A mo, just a mo. And famous is legendary. So again, I was totally misled. I want to read that as legendary footballers because I do. Uh, oh, is this observation post? Comment is an observation. There we go. Okay, well, we're, we're starting to get into the swing of things. A little animal in the country. I was thinking of Marley originally. Uh, initially, I don't know why that should be a little animal. Oh, no, it is. It is that. Okay, why is this Marley? That's a good, this is a good lesson. Um, 
And the key here, there's, one, there's one, almost always one of these in every times crossword. They're, they're called hiddens, where basically the answer to the clue is hidden in, 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 in the clue itself. It's actually spelt out. Now, there has to be something in the clue that tells you that the answer is hidden. And here it's the phrase a little, because if you take a little of the string of letters animal in, you can see spelt out M-A-L-I, Mali, which is, of course, a country. So Mali's going to be right. Now, what's this then? Iron horse. Showing amazing foresight. A present not to be criticised. I can't get horse out of my head here. Gift horse. Oh, a gift horse. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Gift horse is going to be right. But why? Showing amazing foresight, isn't it? Oh, it is. That's uh, that's very. Uh, that's I never knew that. I don't. I don't think I knew it anyway. That foresight is an anagram of gift horse. So if we amaze the letters of foresight, amazing can be an anagram indicator. Oh, I haven't got my Chambers dictionary up. Let's um, let me just get that up so we can. Um, if if we do need any. Um, any help with definitions let, let me see if i can show you why amazing is an anagram yeah okay so we've got is it, it means bewilder in an obscure sense or bewilderment um and i think it's going to be in that sense that we can we can view it as an anagram indicator so it's a slightly unusual one but it is it is justifiable by the dictionary and we get an f in nine down Oh, I looked at this one. Hitch as part of sail, lands on shorebird. Hitch. Uh, I don't know what that means, really. Well, I know what hitch means. I don't know what the clue means. Let's try 25. This is a, this is a silly one to try. In crush, losing top part of foot. Yeah, that was a silly one to try. Don't know what that is. Spy bond. English or Flemish? Uh, or is that trying to say... I wonder if that's a reference to Ian Fleming. You know, could you describe... I mean, obviously James Bond was an English spy, but he hailed from the works of Ian Fleming. And was he therefore Flemish, or should he have been Flemingish? But that question mark, I, I, I would be surprised here if the answer isn't Bond, uh, and this is trying to reference Ian Fleming in a very loose way. Um, let's try 18 down, see if we can justify the B. Elephant keeps quiet with a series of gestures. Keeps quiet with a series of gestures. I don't know. I'm afraid I'm not not seeing that one. Have I looked at this one yet? No. Expression of surprise. A sigh, maybe about colleague Leon, maybe being clumsy. So I think it's going to end ish. It's going to be like if you're clumsy, you're. Butterfingers, butterfingers ish. Um, it's going to be something like that. Expression of surprise about colleague. What could a colleague be? An ally? Leon, maybe. Trotsky? I mean, there aren't many, unless it's an anagram of Leon. There aren't many. Oh, Leon Uris? Oh, there is a, well, Leon Uris, the novelist. That could be right, couldn't it? I like that as a thought. So I need a pal for a colleague. So, and actually, what's my expression of surprise? Could it be A H R? Is that an expression of surprise? Or O, more likely, I suppose. Yeah, O H, I prefer that. Oh no, it's amateurish. That's clumsy. Ah, okay. So it is AH as an expression of surprise, R. And then we put that around, we put it about a word for a colleague, a mate, 
uh, Leon, Leon Uris, the novelist, and that gives us amateurish, which means being clumsy. That is hard. That is really, really hard. Okay, so Jumbo could be an elephant. Keeps quiet with a series of gestures. Elephant. Jumbo. Jumbasho. <laughs> Is that a series of gestures? <laughs> I don't think so, um, but that's where my brain is going. Okay, so let's have a look at four down. Uh, down, unable to fly with this. Down, well, down is making, the surface reading of clue is using down as in feathers. If you're unable to fly, you've got, I don't know, 16 down. Indicate tune of one song half-heartedly. It is rather wet. Dampish? No, there's not enough letters. Indicate tune of one song half-heartedly. That's a weird, that's just a weird surface reading. I can't get a grasp on that at all. Let's try 14 down. Ingratiating European put out by old uniform in funeral ceremony wow i don't know if you if you if you know words for a funeral ceremony wake i, I don't know i'm not sure where it is polite to cough if late where it is polite to cough if late after hours is, is that late after where it is polite to cough into your hand is that or behind behind hand <laughs> okay very clever like that that's that's um if you cough behind your hand you're being polite and if you're late you are behind hand right so we get a, a b in this one ingratiating orb probably ends in ing doesn't it um ingratiating can't think of it let's try this one oh this is oh indicate half to hum maybe it is rather wet humidish oh i like that humidish okay let's see if we can justify it. indicate tune of one song humidity it's humidity. I'll tell you why. It's because if you hum one ditty, where, where ditty was D-I-T-T-Y, if you hum one ditty, you would be indicating the tune of one song. But, you, but the song here is half-heartedly, so it loses its heart. It loses its T in the middle of it to give us hum a ditty, which if we say it differently is humidity, which is rather wet. That is very difficult indeed. Now, what's this then? Something not reef knot would fit. A hitch is a reef knot. I like it. We might be in business with that. Let's have a think. Part of a sail. Yeah, well, a knot is certainly a shorebird. K-N-O-T. I know that. And a reef. I think I have heard of a reef sail. I'm very bad at sailing, though, so I don't, I don't know. I couldn't tell you anything technical about what the reef is on a sail, but reef knot, I'm sure, is right. Let's try 27. Um, land in built-up area. Okay, well, I, I touch down is what I'm thinking because a built-up area is a town, and that would give me, if we're putting town around the edge here in built-up area, it hurts. Ouch! You would say if something hurts. Uh, and D is uh, an abbreviation for Duke. Again, I say it every week, but let's say it again. What you can't just abbreviate any word. It has to be justified as an abbreviation by the dictionary. So if I go to D, hopefully I will not now be scuppered. I can't see Duke there. Duke will be here. I just have to find it. Where is it? Is it a sh? Yeah, there we go. D, the small lowercase d can be an abbreviation for Duke. And that is why this D here, uh, we've got the Duke. We've got it hurt Duke, which is ouch D, dividing the built-up area which is the town touchdown being of course to land now okay let's go back to this oh this is the jumbo um 
I mean, I want this keeps quiet. If you're if you if you quiet someone, you shush them. Shh. Um, so I really like. It really looks like. Oh, no. Okay, it's dumb show. Wow. I thought Jumbo was going to be the elephant. It's not. It's Dumbo the elephant. Um, now that's very difficult. Okay, so we've got Dumbo the elephant keeping quiet, keeping the shh, and that goes with can be abbreviated to W. Um, and that again, I'm going to justify it to you because some of you will be. That's ridiculous. It is a bit ridiculous, but I think we will find it here. Let's see. Um, w with there it is. In fact, most of these, most of these abbreviations for W you would see in the Times crossword occasionally. Wide, wife, wicket, weight and weak. Whereas if we go to, let's go back to D, many of these would be too obscure. God for D uh, from Deus is very unusual in, in, in the Times crossword. It would appear absolutely in the listener crossword. You'd never see dimension for D. Um, dinar, mm, I don't think you'd see that really. Dominus for Lord, you'd never see D for Lord. Um, so there are there are certain abbreviations that are still beyond the pale. But anyway, dumb show. I don't even know what a dumb show is, but I th I think it, it definitely it, it rings a bell that I've seen it as a word before and a series of gestures. It sounds like um, signalling hand hand sign language to me. So I think it's going to be right. And we get a W in twenty nine across. Character transported, returning from game, involving good group of women. Well, group of women is almost always the WI, the Women's Institute, and I can see that would fit there. Now, why is the word good in there then? Well, good can be abbreviated to G. Now, the other thing that short synonym that comes up for good occasionally is pi, believe it or not, P-I which is bizarre and is another of these sort of bits of crossword ease that just seem absolutely bizarre here we go so pi is second meaning sanctimonious so if you're very very good you're sanctimonious aren't you so um but if i put pi here spewitch or something it doesn't feel very right i think there is a word hagwitch um, but I, I won't look it up until I'm committed to the answer, obviously. So let me just think about Magwitch is a character, actually. In, uh, I want to say in Dickens, but I might be showing my ignorance there. Character transported. Returning from game. Hmm. I don't know if this was an H that could be inch. Oh, well, part of a foot in poetry. Um, well, no, in length is an inch, isn't it? 12 inches in a foot and a crush a crush is a pinch. So if, if, if the word pinch for crush loses its top now, because this is a down clue, we could describe losing the top of a, of a, of a word as losing its first letter. Imagine this was an across answer and we said lose, losing top. It would have no meaning. An across answer doesn't have a top. Um, it could lose its, its side, couldn't it? But it couldn't lose its top. So here, losing top to the losing the top letter, I think is fine. Um, and the part of the foot. So this is going to be that. It's going to be Magwitch or Hagwitch or something. Returning from game. Transported. Returning from game. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh. Unless it's match. Well, oh, I'm not sure. I quite like the idea that a game is a match. So transported. Returning. 
returning from game. See, what I'm trying to see is whether I can read the clue as saying I need to replace an abbreviation, maybe. I mean, I don't think T can be transported, but maybe TR could be transported. Uh, could I replace T, say, with GWI? You know, is the clue telling me to do that? And I, I really don't think it is, um, which is slightly concerning. Character transported, that could be the definition. Then ret returning from game. I mean, Mac is obviously where like Mac 1 is, means the speed of sound, doesn't it? So I don't know. I'm very unsure. I mean, let's see if we can justify the A, I suppose. 23. A young deer, we hear leading all the leading all the animals around that's the fauna is it fauna yes okay so this is um we said we talked about this earlier with the clue which one was it 12 across as told we said that was a homophone indicator as told here we see it we hear now f-a-w-n is a word for fawn a young deer so if we have um, we have A, this A at the start. Remember, in a good cryptic crossword clue, there's nothing superfluous. And if we were to read this clue without that A at the beginning, young deer we hear leading all the animals around, it would have exactly the same meaning as a young deer we hear leading all the animals around. So that A needs to do something. It's there. It's not there for, you know, to make the clue more ornate. It's there for a reason. And here it's this A, because what we have is this A, which is the A at the start of the clue, and then we have the young deer, the homophone for the fawn, F-A-W-N, F-A-U-N, leading this A. And that gives us fauna, which is all the animals around, the flora and the fauna. So mm, I think I think I'm going to this is going to come down to a choice, isn't it, as to this letter. And I'm going to go for Magwitch because I think it is a character in a, in a book. Um, but I, I'm not confident I can explain the wordplay to this. Transported. Returning from game. Maybe I should maybe I should just do a quick ditch dictionary trawl, trawl before we sign off on the answer just to see if there's another another possible letter there that suddenly suddenly appeals to me. Let's try this one. Superior forehand smashes outrageous. Superior. Well that's almost certainly got to be O, hasn't it, rather than if. I mean, it looks like an anagram. Oh, okay. Forehand smashes is going to be an anagram of forehand. And then we then the question is, what's giving us the extra letter? Forehand is eight letters. We need nine letters. Now, superior can be you. Outrageous. Unheard of. Is that it? Is that the anagram fodder? I think it is unheard of forehand that looks good okay so superior is you now you may say how is superior you that's a very good question it's out, it is outrageous but let me show you if we go to the meaning of you in the dictionary um we get uh no 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 here we go you it's an adjective <laughs> of words or behavior as used or found among the upper classes hence socially acceptable or upper class as opposed to none you so superior is you it is literally synonymous um, and then we have the anagram we have the forehand being smashed the anagram of the word forehand outrageous is unheard of um, the you in here doesn't look very appetizing does it let's try this one seizure regularly downed a biblical figure seizure regularly okay this is going to be Ezra I think yeah I mean Ezra 
is certainly a biblical figure, book of the Bible. Um, and we've got seizure regularly. If you take regular letters out of the word seizure, let's take the evenly evenly numbered occurring letters. So positions two, four, and six, we get E, Z, R. So we take those because we down, well, regularly downed is saying remove, it's actually saying remove the odd letters. It's saying down or remove regularly occurring letters. So let's remove one, three, five, and seven. We get left with EZR. We add that to the A in the clue, EZRA, and a biblical figure being Ezra. And, oh, well, let's go back to this one. Our Father, I don't know, what was this? Most half heartedly moving around, but he keeps rolling. Old Father, old. most half-hearted what are we looking for 15 letters here so half-hearted most half-hearted is the correct numbers of number of letters so this is old father thames is that that's something that rings a bell old father thames being the i think a sort of euphemistic way of referring to the river thames which certainly would rivers roll don't they so can we justify it if we got the right anagram fodder here it looks about right, doesn't it? I, I can't actually be sure without, and I'm not going to write it down. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to think that that's probably right and hope that my my sort of sight, <laughs> sight is not misleading me. Let's try this one, 26 across. Universal at first, to suffer loss of smell. Universal at first, to suffer loss of smell. I want this to be of smell being the definition. Universe, actually, I'm not sure. I'm actually not, not at all sure. Universal obviously can be abbreviated to you. Ah, or could it be cosmic? That would be universe, well, of the cosmos. And then we, osmic. Osmic does mean something, but I can't remember what it is. Um, let's see if 21 down does have C in it. Clump Rancho for cowboy. Cow clumsy. Ran gaucho. Gauche. Oh, gosh. Okay, a gaucho is a cowboy. Um, so endlessly, we would take the O off the end. We put that on a tablet now in crossword, crossword writer's world. There you get tablets of E, the drug. So that gives us a gauche, which is clumsy, not easy. But it does seem to make me think that Osmic might be right here. Let's try 28 across. Not popular. One demanding hospital post. Not popular. If something's not popular. Oh, it's sister. Okay, I was, I was thinking not popular is sort of if you're out, you're, you're not trendy or you're not popular. But popular in cryptic crosswords is very, very often the word in. If you're in, you're popular. Something I've never been, but never mind. So if you're, so if we take it that we're trying to think about how this clue might relate to the word in, well, then I suddenly thought, well, one demanding would be an insister. If you insist on something, you demand it. And if you're, if that word is not popular, so it takes its in out, we just get left with sister, which is a hospital post, obviously. Now this, so this could be O-U-S at the end. Oh yes, I like that, obsequious, obviously. Obsequious, oh, which I'm now not gonna be able to spell. Obsequious, is it like that? I think it is, but I'm not actually sure. My spelling is atrocious. Um, let's see, now the good thing is, this is a cryptic crossword. So we do have a chance. This is the letter I'm worried about. Um, now, European put out by old uniform in funeral ceremony. Oh, golly. What is, what is this talking about? 
Well, let's go back to Osmic. Are we happy with this? So universal cosmic at first to suffer. Well, I think this is saying remove its first letter, but that is that is slightly odd to me. Oh no, at first to suffer loss. Ah, I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong. If, if the word cosmic does suffer uh, a first loss, if you like, at first it suffers a loss, then it certainly would lose its first letter. So it loses its first letter. We get osmic, which must mean of smell. I didn't, I don't know that, but um, I'm not changing my answer. So why don't we actually look it up now? I am going to enter osmic, even if this doesn't justify it. Osmic, relating to smells or to the sense of smell. So that's from the Greek, apparently. Again, my classical knowledge. I would love to have done Latin and Greek when I, when I was a boy, but never did. Um, although I did, I do remember that um, I had to do, uh, this, I mean, this was comical. Um, so I, I was at a state school in the north of England for a long time uh, during a teacher strike, in fact, that went on for ages. So there was no extracurricular activity at all. There were very few lessons. Often we just weren't, didn't go to school because there were no lessons. Um, but uh, then my parents tried to get me into a good school and I had to sit exams. Uh, this was about the age of 13. And one of my exams was in Latin. And they literally made me sit there for two hours doing a Latin exam. I'd never done Latin. So I don't think I did very well. It was like, translate this. I tried. Um, I suspect I scored zero. I had to do exams in like physics, uh, chemistry, um, biology. And I'd only done... I'd only done this subject called science at that point, um, which which was uh, yeah, it was it was very challenging. Um, anyway, uh, right. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Uh, put out by old uniform. Uniform can be you. European can be E. Put out by old uniform. Old uniform. Oh, is this old? Is this old uniform? O U maybe. Ah, right. Oh, wow. Ah, okay. Well, I'm I'm very far from sure that I know the words here, but I think I do understand the word play. So I do think the answer is obsequious. What I can't, what I'm not sure about is how to spell it. I think that there is a funeral ceremony called something like an obsequies. Don't ask me how to spell it. I think it probably is O-B-S-E-Q-I-Q-U-I-E-S from the word play here. So I think that there is a word obsequies, which is a funeral ceremony. And we have to take the European, the E in obsequies, this final E, and put it out, or um, it, it's put out, it's removed and replaced by OU for old uniform. And that would give us obsequious, which means ingratiating. That is so hard, I cannot tell you. Now, I'm not going to change this answer then. I'm going to, I just want to see if we can, there we go, it's there. I was right. So there we go, obsequies, funeral rites. Wow. Okay, again, this is Latin. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, oh, goodness me. Uh, the lack of a classical education, it just kills you. Um, let's try three down. Um, herb. Herb's wallet nearly getting dropped on road. I like lane at the end for a road. Wallet nearly. So I think this is going to be the name of a herb. Hmm, I should know it then, shouldn't I? Wallet, a purse, P-U-R-S. If we take nearly all of the word wallet, that would give us P-U-R-S lane, purse lane. I don't know that word. I suspect that isn't a word. Nearly. Hmm, 
Okay, all right, we're going to have to, oh, this is the stress, stre underline, if you stress something, you underline it. Of old pants, etc. Linen could be old. Stress of old pants. Quite like underline there. I mean, the fact it fits is and means stress is sort of fairly remarkable. If this was a U, market is very British. Uh, Um, well, that doesn't seem to support a U here, does it? I can't think of why that would be right. A market is a, or to, to market is to sell, obviously. Very, if something's very, it's to, T double O. Tube, I don't think is a word. B can be British, obviously. Um, all right, let's try. Oh, down, unable to fly with this. Oh, if you're d oh, that, that's lovely. That's a very clever clue. If, if, if you don't have any wings, you couldn't fly. So zero wing, you, you would be unable to fly. And if you're owing somebody, you're down um, financially. I, I, felt, I really like that, it's very clever. Right, okay, so one venomous. Do we think this is gonna be the name of a oh, scorpion? I was going to say the name of a skate snake, but scorpion. Oh, the sky on cop. Ah, well, okay, this is right. Um, or the scion cop, if you if you prefer it. S C I O N is certainly a cop. So that's got what's that got in it? That's got O R P. Corner. Not half. don't understand oh corner oh spy on cop oh yes no sorry i'm just my brain is my brain is playing tricks on me spy on cop that is something definitely the spy on cop is is the head isn't it is the, the well if we, we could look it up in the dictionary but we'll do it afterwards spy on cop is what we're looking for and then half of the word corner gives a scorpion which is something venomous one venomous now the weird thing is look that is almost oh purse lane would be supported by underline as well wow okay so hmm, that's that's so tempting to me i mean p blank r blank i need a short word for a wallet well i'm not going to come up with anything better than that Right, what's this one then? Market is very British. No, sell again. <laughs> it's not sell. If this was, oh, souk. So UK. Wow. Okay. So it is, it's souk. And it, it's going to be underlined. I haven't understood that yet. But, but market is a souk. If something is very something, it's so it, isn't it? So SO and then British UK gives a souk. Now this is going to be underlined because it fits, but I don't know why. Pers Lane we did justify, although I don't know the word. Oh, and I haven't done Magwitch. I must remember to put that one in. Right, stress of old pants, etc. being a bit short. I'm thinking laundry as well, which, but I don't think that's it. I think of old pants under maybe under linen maybe yeah okay maybe there is a word under linen which was an old word for your underwear that feels right doesn't it so a, an old word for pants etc is under linen we shorten that slightly we get underline which means stress and now we've almost filled the puzzle and i'm i think i've almost justified everything as well let me just quickly look through this and think about whether or not well i have justified purse lane i don't know it as a word i'm not going to change that so let's check that one um purse lane there it is a pot herb and salad herb wow okay well that's great it's not it's going to be correct obviously let's look up spy on cop which isn't in the dictionary 
well, I mean, there's, it's definitely a thing. Um, there we go, look. Uh, Liverpool's Anfield ground. It's very nice to see that actually in the dictionary there. Um, although spy, I'm surprised spy on cop isn't in the dictionary. Um, and then, okay, so we're left with this one. So we've got our character transported, returning from game. I, I know well I know there's a character called Magwitch. I just can't remember anything about them, including what book they were in. Um Transported Returning from Game Involving I mean, let's just quickly go through Dagwitch. I mean, it's just not Fagwitch. No, Gagwitch. I mean, there's quite a lot of interesting, like, sounding words you can make by just plonking strange letters at the start here. Um, but I don't like anything as much as I like Magwitch. Although, hag well, Hag and Witch are synonymous. A hag is a witch. So Hagwitch is also possible. But why would it be Hagwitch? Transported. Magwitch. I mean, it actually... Yeah, I mean... I wonder if the definition is character transported returning. Yeah, yeah, wasn't wasn't Magwitch? Did I want to say he was sent to Botany Bay? Or maybe that's wrong and then came back. It's like David Copperfield or something. I'm sure it's something like that. So 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 Magwitch is right because it's the definition. Now, the thing I don't understand is the wordplay then is game involving... Oh, God, I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. I'm literally the most stupid man in Christendom. I've been looking at this thinking I don't understand where the T of match is coming from. There is a T in Magwitch. But I've been, oh, I'm so sorry. I've been thinking, as you know from what I've been saying, I've been thinking about GWI in the middle of Mac. And, and somehow reading the clue as having a T, you know, displaced by GWI. But in fact, I am now very comfortable that this is this is the answer. <laughs> so let's let's click submit. Uh, and, and I know, yeah, you just watched idiocy. What can I say? And it's correct. So that is how to solve a very difficult times crossword if you don't know anything about Latin or Greek or apparently Dickens or indeed spelling. It's still possible. There, I've said it. In fact, I've sort of demonstrated it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you enjoy this sort of thing. Let me know if you got some of the answers more quickly than me. Let me know how much you shouted at me during the video and whether it was all in fun. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.